Okay, right guys, we, I'm going to start casting this horse's foot. Preparation, be ready first. So I've got my Equinox ready, my cast, my plastic wrap, and my water ready. I've warmed the water up today because it's quite cold outside. My foot prep itself, all I've done is given a bit of a clean up at the heels here because those are my anchor points. Right. And basically, I'm just going to... That's the most important point right there that we're going to use. Okay, so this horse has been transitioned into barefoot. So now I'm just going to now a very, very light covering up the hoof wall. If I need to bring it forward, I can. And you can see this is a very, very light Right, I'm now prepared, and I'm going to start casting. I'm just wrapping it around. If I want to thicken up my quarters, I will create a fold and I'll come back around and go all the way around the foot. Don't worry about any excess that you have, you can take that out afterwards. So you can see I've just thickened up my quarter there, I'm going to do the same here, wrap it around and keep going. Don't worry about going over the coronary band. If there's no glue attached to it, it will not stick to the coronary band and we can clear that up afterwards. And all I'm doing is creating a bit of a stabilization to the hoof wall now because he's gonna go barefoot in Dubai and uh, just help hold the foot together. So now I'm done. I'm gonna saturate it with, this is warm water now. Anything extra that you've got lying around. Do not fuss. And then I will do a little tight wrap. Wrapping is very important to hold it all in position for you while it is setting. And then we can put the foot down to bear weight. We've, we've, been, we've been a couple of minutes now. It is not fully cured yet. But now it's very easy, it's a good time now that we can actually uh, start taking the, the heels out. The material is still a bit soft. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to score it. Be very, very careful in the position. And then we can actually knife it out. You can see it's still pretty, we haven't gone, it, it hasn't fully cured yet, so you, it's a lot easier to work with in this situation. Just my legs. Knife it out. Okay. Anything extra so I want out. And now I'll actually wrap it up again. The heels are clear. What I'm going to do is now dress it down. Now I'm just going to let it fully cure. It's much easier to cut it out when it's soft, as you can see. If you let that cure, it's really difficult to take out. Right, so I've let, the glue is now fully cured. I know that because the mixing plate I used at one is set on it. So I'm now quite confident that we've got everything in the right place. But we now need to make sure that all the firm material is away from any of the soft balls. And the way we do that is we do lightly rasp it away. Wherever it's not glued, it will just come away very, very easily. Okay, I'm going to bring it around the front. Can you see how I've gone over the coronary band? Now there was no glue on that, and you'll see how quickly and easy this comes off. 
very, very light rasping. And we have a transition. Right. I find that that is your a very important junction to stop any moisture from getting in, any dirt from getting in. Right there. And it's very, very light grass strokes. I'm not doing any damage to the corny band at all. I'm just going to change the little shape here a bit. It's very much the consistency of a hoof wall now. And then straight onto the inside here. Same thing. Anywhere over the corny band, it'll just slice and rasp out. You can see the heels we've got. They're now an extension of the of the foot that's there. 